Some students rely on their schools, not only to teach them, but to feed them as well. In some schools, like Bay City Public Schools, will begin their year entirely online. I talked to the superintendent, Steve Bigelow, to find out how this complicates school lunches. The challenge is we don't have students coming into school, so how are we able to get food to them? Not only get the food to them, but also stay within the Michigan Department of Education's guidelines. With the MDE guidelines, uh, it has to be pre-ordered and pre-paid, uh, and it has to be an adult that actually picks up the food, which is very different than how we operated last spring and also throughout the summer feeding. They're adapting to those differences to keep meals accessible to students by creating a system where parents can pick up multiple meals at a time. But details are still being worked out and there are still concerns. Part that really concerns me is students who are not able to get to one of our distribution sites. It's not ideal for a lot of reasons. Our goal is to get students into our buildings as quickly as possible so that we can get those meals distributed and have a, a, some normalcy to what this school day looks like. And what about the employees preparing lunches? Don't worry, they're not going anywhere. Not only phenomenal workers, but they're always in need. There's never an issue where we've had a lack of lunches. Parents should check the school district's website for more information on signing up for these meals. Reporting in Bay City, Kendall Keyes, WNEM TV5.